All right, what's up, happy people? Oh. <laughs> the sun's going down. We're totally behind time right now, but we're going to find an island to camp on. Later this year, late May, early June, we're gonna be camping out on islands hundreds of miles from civilization. And I just bought a few of these tents. I've never put it up before. We're gonna go put the camp tent up, make camp, and then in the morning we're definitely gonna be fishing. I have no idea what this video is gonna entail, but it starts right now. Our issue right now, we don't know what island we're going to. I don't even really know exactly where I'm at, but we're going north. a ton of time so we're just gonna ease in here right now and build our tent and get set up all right you guys so our main objective tonight is to learn the tent and just see what are we gonna need we brought all kinds of bug spray uh, firewood little this little that in two months we're going on one of the most remote expeditions ever on a deserted island hundreds of miles away from any kind of civilization so I want to make sure that the tent is going to work and that all my gear is going to work. So sorry about the low light. We got to get to work. Of course I didn't read the directions. So I put it together inside out. Ay, ay, ay. You can't camp out without a campfire. Take this. Make sure you've got some, get some of this dry wood going. I actually didn't think that was gonna start that well, but I'll take it. Oh, here we go. World's best fire starter right there. That, see that, that's a palm. That's a sable palm, we call it swamp cabbage. One of these, it's almost like gasoline. There's just something tribal, there's something epic about camping out. Come here, check this out. Look at that. Like, how cool is that? I believe that's called a nudibranch. And it's just like flying along here, eating. Look at his mouth. It doesn't like the taste of my fingers, obviously. How crazy is that? I really hope that GoPro is getting this. Do y'all see how cool that is? I've been around this my whole life. I've never seen anything like that. It literally has like horns on its head. Why do I want to pick this thing up so bad? Look at this. It feels like, it's like, It's the weirdest feeling ever. Oh, dude, it's dropping purple juice on the ground. <laughs> no way. Look at that. Do y'all see that? That's purple, whatever it is. No. Oh my gosh. 
Look at it. I wonder if that's poison. My fingers are stinging now. So, clearly, I don't know what that is, and I'm not going to mess with it anymore. I'm just going to go hang out by the fire and let that thing do its own business. All right, we're on a mission, y'all. The camping part of this trip went perfect, but it's really windy. So we're gonna go out now, try to catch a fish, come back here, cook it up. Look at that, look at our camp. How cool is that? Hopefully raccoons or nothing else gets into all our stuff. I'm not real familiar with fishing up here. We're just gonna go look around, try to figure it out. So here we go. That's what I'm gonna start off with. Just a little mirror lure, little jerk bait. Looks like a little minnow. You can pretty much catch anything on this. Snook, jacks, redfish, you name it. Now, we'll see what happens. Austin's gonna start fishing and we're, we're trying to catch lunch. Look at that, y'all. Look at there, look at there, look at there. You know what? That's not a pompano. That's a daggone permit. At least I don't think it is. One thing for sure, if he was big enough, he'd be getting eaten. Unfortunately, he's a little too small. What a beautiful fish. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we found him. What do we got? I think it's Whitey! Yes, get him in the boat! I think it's dinner. Yeah! Yes, sirree! Oh, no, you can't lose him, dude. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. We have lunch. We've caught puffers, catfish, a little permit, and now we got a whiting. Let's go cook him. The boat's filthy and I'm dirty, but we got lunch. We're gonna start off. I'm just gonna show you how to make an open fire lunch. These are potatoes that we bought yesterday. All we're gonna do is quarter them, just like that. The smaller the piece of potato, the quicker it will cook. We're gonna take ourselves a couple pats of butter, just like this, throw them in there. Lime is amazing on potatoes like this. Give it a good, fresh taste, just like that. The Loverglade seasoning. Good. Very important piece of this puzzle is ice. Put some ice right in it, just like that. I'm just gonna roll these things up. See that? That's gonna take the longest to cook, so I'm gonna go throw it on the fire right now. Just like that. Asparagus on the grill, but we're gonna let the potatoes cook for a while first. Let's clean our fish now. You can get right down here in the water and just start scaling him. Don't worry about the sand getting on him right now because you can wash all that off. Take the sand, you can use the sand right here to literally scrub this, scrub the, the, the back, the, the last little scales right off of him. Very important not to get any, not to get any sand on your meat. Mm-hmm.
Cut them top fins out. Ooh, nice fish. Wash them off in the seawater. And there you have it. Beautiful little whiting cleaned up. Now, let's get him ready. Take some lime. We just want to get him really coated in some nice lime juice. Set him right there. Little Everglades. That's Everglades seasoning. I've been using it for years. I am actually really, really good friends with Mr. Chris, the owner, and they had a bunch of deer meat for dinner slash Everglades seasoning shirts made. If you go over to evergladeseasoning.com, I'm gonna take my commission out. They were gonna pay me like $5 per shirt. I'm gonna take that out. You're gonna get them at cost. So go to evergladeseasoning.com. You can get some really cool deer meat for dinner slash Everglades seasoning shirts. Um, and I thought y'all might enjoy that. Take your fish, just roll them up like a little happy taco. There you go. So I told you guys that plywood is a huge tool when camping, and I'm not even joking about that. Use it as a little windbreak just like this, that will allow, now the, the wind won't blow all your heat away. It'll help you cook a lot faster. Here you go, asparagus, fish. Mm, man. One of the big reasons that we came out last night to do this was to check this tent out. We just put the little roof cover on. We put some back walls on it to keep the, the wind out. This comes right off. So if you want this just to be a big bubble where you have all open air, you can. That's how we slept last night. But now with a bunch of wind and a bunch of sun, we put the roof on and the sides on. And whenever I say easy, that's an understatement. Whenever I was in high school, we used to come out here to these islands and camp. And we always dreamed of having what we needed, like a boat that actually worked and good fishing gear and a nice tent. It never worked like that. We always came out here, got soaking wet, fishy, didn't have firewood. We had a great, great time, but what I'm doing right now is what I envisioned doing as a kid. It is time to eat. But I want to cool this wood off. Fish, asparagus, potatoes. Look at them potatoes. We did not remember all the utensils that we were going to need, but it's okay. The bounty of the sea. Take your knife. You look at that fish, it's gonna be so succulent and moist. Mm. All the flavor comes right out of the tail. Take your little spoon. We thought we bought forks, but we actually bought spoons. Mm. It's as fresh as it gets. Take your little bone. Please do not blow off. These potatoes. Asparagus. That's a meal fit for a king right there, y'all. I don't know how I got this lucky, but I sure thank God for all these blessings. It's amazing that we can come out here and do this. And uh, 
appreciate you being a part of it. We're gonna finish up lunch, we're gonna clean up camp, and I'll see you in a minute. All right, you guys, we met a nice couple, James and Lauren. They're hanging out by the campfire. Their dog is pretty cool too. But uh, one of the big rules about camping out here is if you bring it, you take it. Hey, you guys, it was super nice meeting y'all. Everything we brought, we're taking with us. And I gotta be honest, it only took about 10 minutes to completely break down camp. But uh, I hope y'all enjoyed that. There's gonna be a lot more camping coming up. If you want to see more camping adventures, please drop a comment below, hit the thumbs up, and let us know what you think, you guys. But uh, that's all I got for you today. I appreciate each and every one of you for being a part of my life, but that's all I got for you today. Take care, God bless, and we are gone.